I'm Lauren, and today we're going to do some unit conversions about the volume of Neptune. I'm going to share my screen, and we will head on over to uh, what I have set up so far. So we have the volume of Neptune is on the order of 1 times 10 to the 23rd meters cubed. And the question is asking for, um, what is it in kilometers? What is it in miles and what is it in centimeters so to start off remember that we have um our various conversion factors kilometer centimeters millimeters these are your most common ones remember that if you're going from meters to kilometers you are going to be multiplying by 1000 but if you're going the other direction if you're going to centimeters or to millimeters you're going to be dividing by 100 or multiplying by one divided by 100 or one divided by 1,000. Um, and so you can also think of it as there are 100 centimeters in a meter, or there are 1,000 meters in a kilometer. So you can also think of it that way. So let's get started. Uh, this is what we're starting with. We're going to meters cubed. We're starting with meters cubed, and we want to go to kilometers cubed. So this is your traditional factor label problem. So we have meters here on the bottom, and we want to get to kilometers here on the top. So looking at our uh, little table here, we know that there are 1,000 meters in one kilometer. And now meters should cancel, and you should be left with kilometers. However, this is what makes this problem tricky, is that everything needs to be cubed. Everything needs to be cubed. So this means one needs to be cubed, the kilometers needs to be cubed, the thousand needs to be cubed, the meters has to be cubed. So you can think of this as this type of a problem. It looks like this. 1,000 cubed, meters cubed, one cubed, kilometers cubed. And so, because this in itself right here the 1 to 1,000 is only for kilometers to meters, but we're working in cubed units, so we have to cube everything. So this is the trickiest part of the problem. You need to remember to cube everything. So when you do this calculation out, you end up getting 1 times 10 to the 14th kilometers cubed. There is your answer. Now I'm gonna do part C before I do part B because it makes more sense to do it this way. Well now we're going to do the same process only we're going to convert to a different unit. It is asking us to find it in centimeters cubed. So we do our unit conversion factor label. So here we want meters on the bottom but we're going to centimeters. Okay, we want centimeters. So, we know that there are 100 centimeters in one meter. Remember our little table up here. And once again, we want everything to be cubed. So that cube has to go to every single point. And writing this out again. So 100 has to be cubed, centimeters has to be cubed, one has to be cubed, meters has to be cubed. And once again, when you calculate that out, that becomes 1 times 10 to the 29th centimeters cubed. Now look at these two answers here. Let's see if they make sense. So we're going from meters to kilometers. Kilometers are a lot bigger than meters, so it makes sense that we have a 14th power. We have less kilometers than we do meters. Now let's look at our centimeters answer. We have 23 meters cubed. And then we're going to centimeters. Centimeters is a lot smaller, so we should have more. We should have 29 versus 23. Okay, now let's do part B. Part B is asking us to go to um, miles. So you need to figure out what the conversion factor is for miles. Turns out that one mile, put it up here is equal to 1.609 kilometers. 
You can also do it for meters, but I just found it in kilometers and it gives us an extra step, which is good to see. So once again, we need to get to miles, but we're gonna go through kilometers. So we put meters on the bottom, we have to go to kilometers, and then we are going to go from kilometers, has to go on the bottom to cancel, to miles, so we end up with miles. So now we can put in all of our conversion factors. So we know that there are 1,000 meters for one kilometer, and we know that one mile is equal to 1.609 kilometers. But we're not done. Remember, these are all cubed. So the meters and the meters cubed can't cancel, so we have to put cubes on all of these, which means that this is cubed, that's cubed, that's cubed. So I'm just going to write these all in here in red, and then don't double cube it. Okay, and when you calculate that out, that becomes 2.4 times 10 to the 13th miles cubed. Okay, so that is how you do conversions. It's really important in physics, so hope you enjoyed this video.